everyone, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with a nail polish haul. This is everything that I picked up over the last few months, which is not that much for me. Once a nail polish addict, always a nail polish addict, but I've definitely slowed down on my purchases recently. Um, but I still have some great finds from a variety of places. We have Hella Handmade Creations, we have TK Maxx, we have UK Indies, we have International Indies, we have UK Indie Box. So... Let's get stuck in. Start with two TK Maxx finds. Um, I've been scouting around a lot because I did have some really good luck in my last haul. And at the start, I don't know, it's like August, September time, I found some good ones. And it's just dried out a little bit again in TK Maxx. Very, very hit and miss as always. But I picked up this Orly, which is called Follow the Map. And I'm pretty sure this was from maybe their summer collection last year that I really, really like the look of, but I didn't pick it up and I don't know why. Um, but this is one of the ones that I really liked. It's almost like a metallic, rose goldy, ready orange. I'm very excited to wear this. And this was $4.99 in TK Maxx. You've got the label on everything, but I picked up that one. And obviously, as you know, I'm on a quest to get all of the Sally Hansen collaborations. This is another one with the Peeps brand. This was $2.99 and it is Peeps Sparkly Wild Berry. So clear base with large, very large white matte glitters and then kind of like a magenta purple with hex in there, which is slightly smaller. I think it's just those two. I know, there's probably two or three sizes of white and then one slight size of pink. So um, I got that one as well, and that was just randomly by itself. I'm now on a quest that I think there's one from the Sour Patch Kids Halloween that I, I don't have, which is a glitter topper. I'm on a bit of a quest to hunt it down, but that's what I got in TK Maxx. From a UK indie brand, I did pick up a haul three from Farbe Nostalgia. Um, this is from her end of summer release, I think. Um, the way that Farbe, well, I'm quite new to the brand still, but the way that Farbe seems to work is kind of, they kind of do like a mood board, colour board theme of the collections um, and then they then do inspiration pictures it's very fun to kind of see how you get the inspiration photo first then you'll then move on and see some teasings of the shades and then you'll see the final shades so i think this is from the last not the last lot but the ones before collection releases so i'm not gonna be able to say the name of this because it's a flower but it's like osteopranuvium something like that but it's a burnt orange and then there's tons of large shredded flakes the shredded flakes are fuchsia purple gold and orange so a very orange on orange again very autumnal and the theme is definitely some sort of flower for that apologies that i've butchered the name this is also from that same collection this is chinese aster um, and this is a lovely bright purple and the glitters we have in here are almost the same it might even be the same flaky mixture i think it is just in a purple base rather than the orange so very excited for those two and then this last one is called luck and this is from a trio that she released and this is a really really nice dark indigo and then there is glitters in there the glitters are not as jam-packed in the other two they're more of a subtle look but again more of that shredded sharded glitter that i do really enjoy smaller more sparse um, and you know with me i don't ever wear the polishes until I've done the videos, so I've been looking at these for a while, thinking that I need to wear them. All indies will be linked down below. Hello Handmade Creations, let's do that next. So I think these are all from April. Yes, these are all from April um, release. I have got some more coming because they have a UK group buy, so sometimes I won't have them posted to me until I have enough for postage. So I currently have one that's here, and I've ordered two more. So whenever I do another haul, there will be more Hello Handmade Creations in it. So this is one from Rogue Lacquer, and again, all from April, and this is called Isn't It Amazing? And, no, Isn't This Amazing? And this is one of the Beauty and the Beast series. Um, I think that's finished now. I picked up the last one from that collection. Did I need this in hindsight? Probably not, because I love this combo. I feel like I grab this combo whenever I find it, and it's a teal base with then large glitters in the way that you know Rogue does, not glitters, flakes. The way that you know she does those dense flakes. But what I loved about it is because it's more of an orange, and you know, again, contrast, contrasting colours are just my thing. It's like an orangey, goldy pink in the turquoise. I love that combination um, and I couldn't resist. One from By Danny Vienna. This is called Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. I think she's doing like sweets or candy is her theme at the moment. Very simple simple but effective where it's an off-white base with tons of tiny black very fine glitters and then a strong kind of greeny yellow shimmer to it. Very subtle, very clean, very classic, very much me and something that I needed to have. Then um, uh, 
Indie by Patty Lokes. I think this is only my second Indie by Patty Lokes, which is another Brazilian brand. And oh my goodness, I needed this because I was in my Barbie era when this was being pre premiered and I knew that I needed to have it. So it's called Roommates. So actually it's part of her Wednesday Adams series and this is the one for Enid who is the roommate of Wednesday and the whole idea is that Wednesday is very black and dark and I think it's Enid is very bright and this is a beautiful bright pink with tons of large glitters. The glitters are opalescent. Again, they might probably, they are flakes and they are not glitters. I'm a liar. Um, but yeah, and you could, I think you could have got these in a duo. I think you could have literally got the Wednesday and in it one. Uh, but I picked up just the one half of it, which was Roommates. Excited to wear it. Now I'm going to quickly talk about a brand that I'm having some PR sent to me right now, but I don't have any time to film next week. So I'm going to insert the bottle shots when they arrive. But the brand Snail Works which is the best name ever. Snail Works got in contact with me and asked if I wanted to review some of their polishes, so I said absolutely yes. So I've they asked me to pick two, so I know which ones are coming. So I did order the blue and the green, which is called uh, Plastic Jungle is the green, and Super Saturated Sky is the blue. So I'll insert bottle shots of those here, and you'll see more about that on my Instagram shortly. But obviously, as I said, all the indies will be linked down below um, and check out Snail Works. The last thing we have is the UK Indie Box. This came out in September and the thing was Crelly Chaos, which is just perfect. Um, I would be happy if every box was Crelly Chaos, to be honest. There's only three polishes this month opposed to four as normal, but you did then get the choice of having either the Glitter Top Coat from Danglefoot Now Polish or a Glitter Topper. So I went for the Glitter Top Coat because it's not something that I've tried and I go through Top Coat like water. So this is called the Ick Fix and it's their Glitter Smoothing Top Coat. So I will be excited to try that from Danglefoot and use it on my super chunky glitters. Becca's offering in it was Glittery Pink Prosecco and there was Wax Melts which looked like little Prosecco bottles and also a cuticle oil. And the three polishes themselves are so fun. So Danglefoot also had a polish in here and this is called My Tamagotchi Dyed. Um, and it's a very nice fuchsia pink colour with white... Um, white glitters and a blue flash. I'm out of practice of um, filming and I can't think of any words. So the fuchsia with the white flakes with the blue shimmer. My Tamagotchi died. Polychroma has Let's Get Physical and I really, really loved a Polychroma that we had in one of the previous boxes so I'm excited to try more from them. And this is a beautiful white based Crelly with pink, navy and light blue glitters. Fitting Crelly Chaos perfectly. And the final one is another Farbe Nostalgia and this is called Last Day of Summer. You'll see in the close-up better than in here but it's a dark blue polish and then there is so many glitters in this that have all settled where I've had it laying down, all the glitters have floated to the bottom. But it is um, white stars, orange circles and tiny fine pink micro glitters. Um, it looks super fun, I love the combination of colours. So again, very excited for all of those in that Crelly Chaos box. I'm not sure if there's gonna be one more before the end of the year or if we will now be waiting for January for another UK indie box. But uh, yeah, that one was a great one. Also quickly, I will just shout out to a certain Becca Lacquer because they have a new product and I picked some of these up um, which shipped with the UK Indie Box. So she's now doing whipped soap and this is the sample size of the whipped soap. So I picked up Sherb, Zombie and Dragon's Blood and again, now I've shown them to you, I can use them. But I think these are only £1.50 for the samples which are a really nice size and um, I've used whipped soap before but never from Becca. So as soon as I saw she had it, I was like, yes definitely being tried. So that's everything that I've been picking up over the last few months. Like I say, I'm on a little bit of a non, it's not, I'm not doing a low buy on purpose, but I've naturally just been having a bit of a low buy recently. Um, so let me know down below anything that you've picked up, whether you picked up anything the same as me, leave me comments, leave me thoughts down there, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.